Here we have the drill press. We also have this drill press, which is a little bit smaller. This tool is used to make precise holes. The important parts are the handle, right there, three prongs with the red knobs on it, the power switch on and off. Right here we have the chuck, right here we have the drill bit, the big white platform is our table, right there is our clamp, over here is our vise. Back here we have the table crank and on the opposite side which is so very important that a lot of people forget is the table lock. The last piece is right here which always goes back there which is the chuck key. And here we have the depth adjustment. Before you use the tool, the first step is to put the correct drill bit in the chuck. In order to take the drill bit out, we place the chuck key in the chuck, align the teeth, and we turn it to the left. By turning it to the left, what we do is we've opened up Chuck's mouth. And as you can see, the drill bit falls out. Then you place the correct drill bit in Chuck's mouth, in the center of his three teeth. And you tighten this until the bit is correctly or properly tightened. Once you've placed the drill bit in there, you want to make sure you tighten it and remove, second step, is remove the chuck key and place it back in the holder. Our third step before we use the drill press is to adjust the depth stop or depth adjustment. So what we're going to do is lower our handle and we never want that bit to go through our material but it can go slightly into that wood part but not through the wood part into my metal table. So if you'll notice right here on the depth stop adjustment it is has that stop so if I raise the handle if I raise it up slowly and then lower it it stops right at that part. So you either twist it to the right or to the left to raise or lower your depth. So if it goes up, that means your drill bit's going to go up further. And if you lower it, your drill bit will stop lower. So you adjust it to stop right at that wood table. Your fourth step is to use the clamp to clamp your piece to the table. Now this clamp is a quick clamp and this opens the teeth or closes the teeth. And you simply have to squeeze it and then it's locked. If you need it to go wider, turn it to the left. If you need to go tighter, you turn it to the right. During use, after you've turned the tool on and your piece is clamped, you grab our lever here, our handle, and you slowly lower the handle as it cuts through your piece and you lower it until it stops at the correct depth adjustment which you already set. Once it's drilled all the way through then you slowly bring the handle back up never just letting go of that handle because it ruins the drill press. So Step one is to lower it all the way down. Step two is to raise it back up. After you used it you put the clamp back as well as the vise. You can also use the vise to clamp your pieces. And then clean up any scraps. Things that you should never do is put your hands closer than two inches to that bit. 
The second thing you should never do is let the handle go. So if you've brought it down, you don't just release it. You slowly bring it back up. And the third is do not drill through that wood piece into that black metal table. I will be very upset. Never drill into my metal vise. As you can see there's a lot of holes. If you're going to use this vise to clamp your piece then align the bit so that it goes and misses my metal vise. Don't put it directly under so that you drill into it. It messes the vise up and the bit up. Important things to remember, always pull out this chuck key. If you turn that machine on, it's going to send it flying right at you. And the other thing is, always before you drill, adjust the depth stop so that the drill bit does not drill through this wood table. This is the drill press.